Joining us now, we have Kevin Parker, managing partner over at Garber Automotive, and we have Ed Mahar, president of Valley Cadillac, and together we are doing the electric today. We are talking electric cars. Just a few years ago, you had some people kind of laughing off the notion of electric. It doesn't seem like there are many people laughing anymore. Where do electric cars stand now in the industry? Kevin, we'll start with you. I still think it's a small portion of um, what people are buying, but I think a lot of that has to do with the technology still hasn't evolved enough. But all of the manufacturers are either currently have one or many in the makes. I just think the, the downfall right now is that they're so limited in how far they can go. So the real race will be who can develop a battery that can go three to four to five times longer. When that happens, I think you'll see them in most every driveway. Uh, do you think that's going to happen? I think there's a good possibility that it's going to happen, but uh, I think really the future of the electrified car is going to be the hydrogen fuel cell, which is really a, the car will have its own power plant, and it's very easy to fill the car up in, in as quick a time as you would fill your car up with gasoline. What's lacking is the infrastructure of hydrogen. A lot of the oil companies at this point are really not excited about providing that infrastructure. It is so interesting you say that because just a few years ago it seemed like such a promising development. We even had the GE plant here in Honeyoy Falls right. area and then it just kind of quieted and I don't I don't completely understand where that went are you still hearing rumblings of that actually Honda has a hydrogen vehicle and there are many running around the roads here in uh, I just think Ed's on point there's got to be a way to fill them up uh, there's also some concerns that if uh, a severe collision uh, that's a compressed gas and and what will happen there so um, time will tell that is interesting. I've also heard, I know we were speaking about electric, we moved into hydrogen, but sometimes some of the equipment, some of the metal that's needed to produce the cell is in that's, high demand. Yeah, that, that's true. I think uh, uh, a more sane energy policy might help to promote the, the hydrogen fuel cell and delivery of hydrogen. How interesting. All right, gentlemen, thank you so much for joining us. The auto show is coming up, and we are so lucky to have some experts here. We have Ed Mahar from Valley Cadillac and Kevin Parker from Garber Automotive. Thank you both. Thank you. All right, thank you.